Hey everyone, today I'm going to be putting together this rocket stove. I got it from 42 Fab. He shipped it out priority mail today in one of their padded envelopes, so it keeps the cost down. I think he has them for $42 on his website. It's been a while since I ordered it, so I've forgotten, but uh, I'll put a link in the description to where you can order it. And I'll also put a link to his channel where he also does a build on this. Maybe there's something that I miss and he'll have in his video. So you can watch a couple videos before you attempt to put this together yourself. But everything comes all connected together. So you got to cut these little sections out and then you're going to weld each piece together. It's pretty straightforward. If you have access to a welder or you own a welder, I think this is a project that you can do yourself. So let's get started. Okay, I'm about to put this piece in and I'm going to kind of follow the angle here and I'm going to, I'm not going to split the difference uh, exactly 50-50. I'm going to do about one third down. That leaves plenty of room on the top for wood to go in to feed the fire and plenty of airflow to go through the bottom. And the piece in the center here, again, this isn't hundred percent critical but it's gonna leave a gap at the bottom. And that's, that's perfectly fine. No issues with that at all. And to do that, I just measured in about an inch and a quarter. And then I just replicated the angle using this. And so I just did right here. Marked it with a Sharpie. Come over to this side. Did the same thing. Now, uh, that's all there is to it. I'm just gonna put the part in place. I'm gonna use a, one of these magnets to kind of hold it in place while I weld. And it doesn't even have to go all the way to the front. Flush. So just in about, I don't know, a quarter inch maybe. Now, there's probably absolutely no need to weld inside here. Those little welds right here will probably be more than sufficient, but I kind of just want to weld, so I'm going to do it anyway.
All right, there you go. It's complete. It's all together. I think it took me about two hours total. Probably would have taken less time if I was a little bit better welder. I had to spend a little bit of time grinding, but that said, it is complete. It's going to work great, I believe. I'm going to go ahead and prime it and paint it with some high temperature primer and paint. And then I'll be able to enjoy the fruits of my labors. All right, so I wanted to cook some eggs, so I brought my little pot out here, or pan, some eggs, a little bit of kindling, and my rocket stove. And the water took a little time to boil, but I want to see just how fast I can cook some eggs, so let's check this out. Excellent. Well, there you go. I got to make four eggs with minimal fuel. The great thing about a rocket stove is it puts out very little smoke. So other than at startup, it's almost smokeless. Very efficient. I hardly used any of that fuel that I had down here. I have quite a bit left over. I could probably kick, cook. I probably could have cooked a half a dozen eggs in the same period of time easily. But after the first two that's so delicious, I decided to go ahead and throw a little bit more fuel on the fire and cook a little bit more. 
As you can see, I have this raised up off of the off of the patio a little bit. I just used some half inch threaded rod on some half inch nuts. And I did that because I didn't want the heat right on top of my concrete patio. But what it did is it made me start thinking maybe it would be a good idea to build some legs for this. So look for that in a future video. Again, thanks to 42Fab for making this kit so that we could easily put together something nice like this. And thanks for watching. Have a great day. I made eggs on my back patio. How crazy is that? All right, it's not that crazy.